So this hive right here, this is a hive that's not queen right right now. Um, she drowned in a feeder, had a frame feeder in there. And I tried to introduce a virgin, they didn't, they didn't accept it. So I did some grafting out of another hive and I'm letting them build. I think it's got six cells in it. Sorry for some of the weed eaters. Uh, they have a guy hired to cut the grass next door. So uh, I'm gonna do a video kind of what I've got going on in here. This has been uh, queenless now for about, probably going on about four weeks. Like I said, it's, uh, we had those, we put those queen cells in there. So they're not queen cells, but the grafts in there. I'm just checking the grass today. I think I've got six cells and I didn't have enough young larvae to do the OTS method or I would have tried that. Um, so if these uh, grafts hadn't take, uh, then I'm gonna probably go get a couple frames of brood from a guy, just buy them outright and uh, put, them, put them in this uh, put them in this colony and I'll do the OTS method where I dent the frame and hopefully it uh, hopefully it will pull pull through if not you know sometimes you lose lose hives but I'm trying my best not to all right so I'm gonna put the camera down here so I get the lid off and then I'm gonna pick it back up okay so I'm gonna let y'all watch me taking off the lid I'm sitting this on a new box right here next to the hive. I can't tell if that's on it or not, so hopefully you can see. I've got my smoker going. I'm not gonna give them a lot of smoke, just a little, a little puff. And I always set up a table next to where I'm working at. right now I guess because all the workers are, are out and about. Now this next box they're probably not going to be because that's where those queen cells are. There's nothing but old bees in here. There's not really a lot of young bees in here. Golly that box is full of honey. Yeah, so I'm going to give them just a little puff. I'm I got this down here at the height to where I can, I can work on them. Just gave them just a little puff. I'll show y'all what this looks like. Here. I do get stung. Uh, went over to guy's house the other day and his bees were being a little, a little feisty. Smoke right in the face. No matter where I'm moving it, it keeps blowing at me. Uh, so I went over there the other day and he was showing me one of his hives and I didn't have on a long sleeve shirt or a veil. I got popped like 12 times just back to back to back and Finally, I got back in the truck after 12 times. It, I can take a few stings, but 12 was an awful lot. So, 
maybe I'll get stung today, maybe I won't. It's not a big deal. I'm not allergic to bees. I swell up a little bit, but uh, if you're going to be keep, you're going to get stung. So that's the, at least in my opinion. So this is my frame that I've got. Got my queen cells on, being careful not to crush any bees. But as you can see, I, I took, this right here is telephone wire. Uh, I have a bunch of it because I've done telephone for years. But any kind of wire will work. And what I did was, uh, I just put a couple cups in the bottom. Here. Let's see, wow, that's a beaut right there. And so I just went around that JZBZ cup holder and uh, put around it like that and then twisted it up so it would hold. Look at that queen cell, she's a beauty. But it looks like they've only they decided on which one they wanted. And the rest of them they're not really really dealing with but that's a beauty right there so uh, since this hive's not queen right I'm gonna we'll double check it and <clears throat> just go through here and verify that I ain't got no kind of no kind of uh, cells at all and I'm gonna let them finish doing that and this is going to be their queen so I'm going to let them let them carry on they're getting a little feisty right now because I pulled that out of the out of there see look how it sinks back in there underneath the bees I ain't got to crush no bees they'll get out of the way see they're, they're getting up underneath there now see how they these older bees they get a little they get a little fussy so I'm just not, I'm not really smoking them, I'm just, just give them a little puff is all. Okay, so I'm going to sit this down just for a second. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through probably these two or three frames right here and just verify that there's, uh, there's no larva or any, anything like that in there uh, right quick. So give me just a second. And then I'll show you what they're like after I dig in there. How I then will upset them pretty good. That owl was because I dropped my hive tool and I'm wearing sandals and it caught me on the ankle. And whatnot, I didn't get stung. Like I said, you are going to get stung, so just just know that. I walked out here one day and I'd worked them pretty hard the day before so they were a little agitated. And I walked out here in the morning having my cup of coffee and uh, and they, I wasn't wearing, I was wearing like a button up shirt but I had it unbuttoned in the front just chilling out on a Saturday. And, and then one got me right on the belly button that was a little painful but I'm gonna show y'all that's what it looks like I got some grown butter root in here that's when you lay a worker Looking to make sure they ain't got that queen too. You never know, she might have flew back in and, and made it up. So, just taking my time. I see a lot of beekeepers, not a lot, but some beekeepers, I should say. And they uh, they sit down while they work, and 
So I started trying that and it's a lot easier on the bike for sure. And if your bees aren't too, 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 too bad. You know, like you're leaning over them, my shirt's opening up, but uh, I don't wear a bee jacket. That just gets a little too hot for my taste. I'd rather get stung a little bit than be that dang hot every time I'm working on bees. So that's what that frame looks like. There's no brood in here. A lot of pollen, nectar. Still not seeing any queen. Now once one of them pops you, I learned a while back the best thing you can do is spray some smoke on it. If you spray some smoke on it, then you ain't got a you ain't got an issue. Unless you got a real hot hive and then they they kind of do their own thing. I said before. <laughs> Sorry for the nose. It's it's uh, flows happening. Oh yeah. I kind of ticked them off with that one. That's right there next to that queen cell. And they don't like being pulled off that queen cell. I think I got this thing properized down pretty good. They got everything glued down in here. And I'm assuming once I get a get a good queen in here, she starts laying, they'll move all this honey up to the top. They're just sticking it wherever they can right now. The flow's happening pretty hard. Getting them a little drink from that smoke. I don't see anything right now. So I'm just gonna look right on the other side of those that queen cell. So out of six cells that were uh, grafted. I got one in my bale here with me. Don't freak out. Best thing you do is take it off and get out of there. See? That was pretty easy, right? That's that's real stuff. I, I tried to show all that kind of stuff where uh, if one gets in your bale, it's okay. Now I've been popped across the uh, one time uh, I leaned across the bees like I'm doing right now, and uh, I got popped. I got like uh, there's another one in, in my veil. So when I opened up to let that one out, another one got in. <laughs> But anyway, uh, so don't freak out. Just uh, remain calm. That time, I didn't get popped, but there's been times in the past where I've been hit like multiple times. They, they got me like eight times in a row, just bang, 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 bang. It was, I think it was three on top of the three on top of the eyebrow and then after that uh, I got three on the back of the neck maybe it's four on the back of the neck I can't remember now I'll put this 
queen's going right back up against there in the lead. There's no space for the bees to get through. I'm just taking my time. I'm not getting in a real rush. Oops. Yeah, just move the whole hive. When you start messing with the bottom hive, you'll move it around some. They have this joker propolized up like nobody's business. Put this one back in there. Nice and slow. As you can see, it's not bad today. This is what the weather's like. It's not really overcast, but it's not really hot and sunny. So I got a big gap here, a little gap there, big gap, big gap. So what I'm gonna do is I'm taking my hive tool, I'm just gonna stick it down in there, like so. Just push it over. Push it over. I'm gonna crush a couple bees. There we go. So I just kind of even it out on both sides, and uh, like I said it's uh, they're still not queen right. Soon they will be though. I'm gonna give that just a little bit of space. And then push it out both ways. In the middle. And the same thing down here. That way it gives them just enough space to go up and down between the two frames. Alright, so. There ain't no need me going through any of that. I, mean, I can go through it and look at the high beetle population, but this has got a lot of bees in it, so if there's any uh, high beetles in here, they'll have them pretty well in check. I'm gonna take this lid off and see see what they're like underneath this lid. We got that booger propolized down pretty good. I might sit the phone down here for a second and we'll look at the clover. Okay. I don't really see any high beetles in here. I see several dead bees. I flip this over to give them, give them a little bit of space. Work it where they could come and go through that entrance right there. That's why they had that thing prop down, propolized down so hard. Holy moly, this one the same way. These bees are the gluinous bees that I've ever messed with. Okay. Um, let's see. If I had a real issue, I'd have high beetles everywhere on this inner cover here. I'm looking at the bees, watching how they're running them around. See, this is just a Swiffer sheet, one cent Swiffer sheet, and the high beetles get trapped in there and they can't get out. Maybe a couple bees trapped in there too. So for the bee part, I'm I'm gonna help pull those out. Let's see if I can do it one the phone down here. Okay. Okay. That's it. Come on. Let's 
second one gets off there. There you go. You fall right back on it. So, that's that. I'm just going to put this back down. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do it this way. This don't really matter, but... Put those swiffer sheets throughout your hive unless you got a real bad hive beetle problem. If I had a real bad one, I'd stick one here. It'd be one. Well, you can see there's a piece of one right there and pieces of another right there. So I would alternate. I'd put like one in this corner, one in that corner, and go through my hive and put it up. If I had a real bad problem, and then wait a week and clean them, clean them out. But I think they're taking care of them. They ain't got to worry about brood or nothing like that. All they're doing is focused on getting honey and protecting the hive so normally they're pretty aggressive but it's not too too bad this time I'm just gonna take a peek at one of these frames uh, so this is gonna be a long video I'll probably just stop it and well let me let me just take a look at one and then and I'll start I just want to see what the hell is looking like There. I'm going right into the middle here. I'm just going to see what this middle is like. Now, I hadn't smoked these bees, so I'm going to get popped on this one. But, like I was saying to you, don't be afraid. I think, at least here, the old timer. I, mean, I, I just started keeping bees, but I've been around and I'm just old country boy. I've been around people most of my life that did stuff like this. And they say that they can sense fear. And I believe it. When I first started keeping them, I was afraid. Good mind, that's a heavy frame. I'm going to show you what I see. I just crushed a couple of bees there. Sorry, girls. You can see it glistening. But if this keeps up, it's going to be a good honey crop off this, off this one high. So that's completely slam full. They're probably going to start capping it pretty soon. So, I don't need to look at all the other frames, I'm just looking at this one. So, what I'm going to do, since we're putting in, uh, since we're filling up this middle box, whenever that queen does hatch and come out, uh, I'm probably going to throw two more supers on top of this because they're going to, my understanding they're gonna start she's gonna start laying down there and they're gonna start giving her space to lay and they're gonna pull that honey up 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 and up either that or I might checkerboard this and put another deep on top of it I don't I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do yet uh, they might have some of this capped off pretty soon if they got it capped off then I'll go ahead and sling it and put a put the frames back in there for them but, alright guys, please uh, like and subscribe. It helps me out. This new channel. Uh, remember, uh, coming up soon, I'm going to have the website up, bamabees.com, and you'll be able to order bees from me um, next year is my goal. I'm really growing my apiary. This is my only honey hive. The rest of my hives, I'm splitting like crazy, trying to get them to grow. But I tried male dishman's method or dishman's i think that's his name uh where he makes them go queenless 
and then they don't have to worry about brood or anything like that while they're and they just worry about honey production and as you can see uh, I got this deep box and these two two mediums I mean that one's they're not full but they I would say they're not far from it so I'm fixing to probably give them a little bit more space and then put it back together please like and subscribe guys sorry about the finger being in the way there at the end